All right, so we've got ourselves an update tonight, and the official Fortnite status Twitter account simply said this, bring the heat, and then they put a chili pepper. They said the version 18.10 update is scheduled for release on September 28th. Downtime will begin at approximately 4 a.m. Eastern, with matchmaking being disabled approximately 30 minutes before. So it seems like every official patch, they've been giving us less and less patch notes, but that's okay because the day of the patch, they released the full patch notes. So I'll cover those in depth tomorrow, but we do know three things right now. Number one, this little teaser, Bring the Heat, is actually for a brand new item. So the spicy chug splashes are scheduled to release during this update. The spicy chug splashes. I don't know what they're going to be called. I don't know if that's their official name, but this is what they look like. There's a pepper on it, and it simply says chug splash. So if you remember, chug splashes would heal, shield, and health. However, these are quite different. So according to the data miner Hypex, he says they heal 20 health and zero shield. So they only heal health and 20 at a time. However, in addition to that, they multiply your speed by 1.4. So that's a 40% increase in your speed. Now for comparison, the chili peppers only boost you for 20%. So these will make you much, much quicker and they last for one minute. So that's the same amount of time as the chili peppers last. So one of the drawbacks to this season so far, in my own opinion, is that rotational mobility is not very good. Last season we had the UFOs, which made getting around the map super easy. They were all over the place. This season, not so much. Yes, they added the alien slipstreams, but they're in dumb locations. They won't get you to the center of the map when you need to be there. But with these spicy chug splashes, I mean, a 40% increase in speed, have you ever used a chili pepper when you're doing a build off? It's incredible. You can get the advantage super quick and it's super advantageous to have. So I for one can't wait. I've seen mixed responses on Twitter. People are like, oh, this is the dumbest thing ever. And some people are even saying, oh, this is the most overpowered thing ever. Nobody says that the chili peppers are overpowered and you can have over 10 of those in your inventory. So I don't know. I'm happy this is coming, but a lot of people are upset and think it's stupid. Not the case. Just wait and see. So that was number one. The second thing we know already is that this patch will include the improvements to XP. So obviously the XP system this season has been horrible. A lot of complaints. They did a survey about it. I think they got tons of negative feedback about it. And that's why we're getting this official revamp. We don't know what it is, but they said that they're going to detail it all in the blog post tomorrow, which are the official patch notes. This is confirmation that it's going to be live tomorrow. Whatever changes they're doing, they're not just telling us about it tomorrow. They will be in the game. So I'll have to probably cover that in a separate video. We'll see what they do. Hopefully it's not some little skin and rinky dinky dink thing and they do something that will really help people level up faster. We'll see. Now I did say there's three things we know for sure, but now I'm questioning whether this is actually coming out tomorrow or not, because down here in the bottom right, it says coming in three days and that is certainly not tomorrow, but to be fair, it will be included with this update. So this week it's coming out, not necessarily tomorrow, but this week. So that of course is the paint a tuna fish extra skins. And you can see we have 21 additional Painted Tuna Fish styles coming. Now, spoiler alert, I'm going to show you them right here on the screen if you want to see. If you don't, skip this part, but here you go. So you can see we've got Charlotte, Kor, Fabio, Torin, JB Chimpansky, Carnage. So basically the entire battle pass up there. That one in the top right corner, I'm assuming that's going to be the secret skin, a.k.a. the queen. Then we've got Fishstick, Aura, the Visitor, Tomato Head, Sunny, Man Cake, Dark Bomber, Cluck, Joey, Drift, Zig, Cube Assassin, Mecha Team Leader, and the Merry Marauder. So a nice addition to the Paint a Tuna Fish skin. Obviously, these are going to be unlocked the same way. You got to collect the Rainbow Ink just out of chess and then purchase all these. They're 15 inks a piece. And that's actually different from up here. These styles are only 10 a piece. So I guess these for some reason, or five extra. I don't know why that would be the case, especially when the whole first row is simply from the battle pass. You'd think those would be cheaper. I don't know, but it's a nice addition. One of the most customizable battle pass skins we've ever had. I really, really enjoy this skin. A lot of different variations you can pick from, and I'm excited to see 21 more. Awesome. Now you will notice that the one in the top right, which I assume again is the queen, says coming in 31 days. Let's just double check. Yes, that comes out the same time as the secret skin. So 100%, it's got to be the queen. So there you go. That's what we know about tomorrow's update. Again, to rehash real quick, 
a brand new spicy chug splash, which will only heal health and make you faster, a brand new XP system, hopefully they revamp the entire thing, but we'll see, and then the 21 new additional paint a tuna fish styles coming to the battle pass. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.